right, today I'm going to address um, for the REC community the NURIN 2566 announcement uh, yesterday. Um, um, what exciting news that we all got concerning the, the NURIN 2566 trial. Um, so what does it all mean? The trial itself is the first of its kind for Rett syndrome. It was a multi-center phase 2A uh, trial. And by multi-center, I mean it took place at multiple places in the country at the same time, um, each place measuring the exact same parameters in our RET girls. This is the first time a multi-center trial has been done, and uh, we at RETSyndrome.org are really proud that we are part of the sponsorship for this multi-center Phase 2A trial. Now, the Phase 2A trial is a placebo uh, it is actually a proof of concept trial. And the proof of concept in this case was essentially a placebo control trial with escalating doses and with the primary outcome measure being safety and tolerability. And that's really exciting, what's really exciting about the NERN trial is that the primary outcome measures were met. It was both safe and to well tolerated in the RET girls that uh, were in the trial. So that's exciting news for all of us. Now, the add-on to this trial was that they were also looking at efficacy. And efficacy in this case was essentially changes in behavior for the girls. Each of our girls is very different from one another. So there's not a single outcome measure that would, that would actually be, that could be measured across all the girls because each girl is different and is, and, and is an individual. So, the group at Nuren, at Baylor, at University of Alabama, Birmingham, at Gillette had made a decision to essentially use behavioral scales and study the girls before the study, before the study started, and study the girls while the girls were on the drugs to see if behaviors changed. And not everyone's behaviors are exactly the same. So we can't say it was this behavior changed or that behavior changed. You're looking at behavior overall. So in these behavioral scales, what was very interesting is that behaviors changed and they changed significantly from the placebo. So for all of us who essentially were observers of this trial, we're very excited that one, 2566 is safe, it's tolerable, and now actually it also has an effect on behavior. Now, what's really interesting here, and is that this was a very short time period for the drug to be delivered. It was only 26 days. So if you think about that, with only 26 days of administration, major behavioral changes have taken place in the girls who are in the high dose group uh, of this trial. That bodes very well. So as you think down the road, one of the things we're hoping for is a longer trial, and maybe we'll see even more behavioral changes. But there's a lot before we get there. The next stages for Neurin uh, Pharmaceuticals is to essentially sit in front of the FDA and tell them all of this great news and apply for orphan drug status as well as breakthrough, uh, ther uh, breakthrough therapy status. And with those, hopefully, we'll be able to move even faster through the federal regulatory process. Uh, but these, this is not for the faint of heart. You have to essentially go through this federal regulatory process at every step to make sure that you don't make mistakes in your next clinical trial. So phase 2A clinical trials move to phase 3 clinical trials, or it could be a different age group for another phase 2A. Two, phase two All that's to be determined. So I can't tell our rec community what the next trial is going to be, it's just that Neurin, as well as RetSyndrome.org, are working on what's next, and we'll be working with the FDA to make that determination. So these are exciting times for us. We're, we've taken our first step today, Wednesday, November 10th. That first step is behind us, and we are looking down the path, looking towards the horizon, and, and um, looking at the next set of trials and how do we move it forward. Thanks for your time. Thank you.